There are three keys, I believe, to making money. First one's perspicacity. Most people go through life and they do not pay attention. You need to pay attention to every single time you spend money because you cannot make money. You're not the Federal Reserve, you're not a government. Governments make money. All of us take money from somebody else or a business or a government. We take money from other things. So the easiest way to learn how to get good at taking money is to pay attention to every time someone takes money from you. So next time you buy a coffee, don't just buy the coffee and drink it and think nothing of it like every brokey. Don't do that. Say, okay, I, why am I buying this coffee? Okay, I want a coffee. All right, why am, I, why am I buying here? Well, this is on my way to work. Is there any competition around? Do I also want breakfast? Do they sell breakfast? No, they don't sell breakfast. They could probably make some more money there selling breakfast. Anyway, I walk in, there's a long line. Why is there one member of staff? I'm low on time. I'm about to leave and not buy the coffee. They're about to lose money because it's taking too long. Most of the people in this line are businessmen. Why is there not a cute girl behind the counter? I bet if they paid a cute girl a little bit more, they'd still make a bunch more money because people would come in here to talk to her. Think. And then you, what you'll do is as you go through life, every time you spend money is you'll realize the problem is not how to make money. The problem is how much time you have because there's endless business ideas. There's endless ideas. I walk into a coffee shop and by the time I've walked out, I already know exactly how to open up next door and outcompete them head to toe. So the first thing is you have to pay attention because if you pay attention, you'll start to learn that money is everywhere. Second thing is network. It's hard to make money if you don't know anybody who has money. If you sit in a room full of ice cream experts and all they talk about is ice cream, how to make ice cream, the different flavors, how to store it, how to move it, how to sell it. Even by accident, if you hang around with these people long enough, when someone asks you a question about ice cream, that's what you're gonna, you're gonna know the answer. You're gonna say, you know what? That's because it's pistachio and that needs to be two degrees higher than chocolate. So if you sit in a room full of people who are making a bunch of money, Everyone understands this. Your network is your net worth. You are the sum of the five people you spend the most time with. I don't talk to anybody who is not winning. Everybody whose phone, uh, every phone call I will answer, if I answer a phone call, it is from a winner. I don't talk to losers. Everyone I talk to is rich. Everyone I talk to is making money. Everybody. If my entire reality is full of multimillionaires making money, how am I not gonna make money? And this is why network is so important is because it's the same reason that wolves hunt in packs. If you're a lone animal, you have one set of eyes. But if you're a pack, you're watching every single angle, every single side. Your network is super important, that's another thing. And third, it's to identify the reason why you don't have as much money as you want so far. The majority of people are not the one they think they are. The majority of people are the one I'm about to say at the end. So let's start with lazy. There are a lot of lazy people. The unfortunate reality about money is that you are competing. So it's player versus player. It's like anything in the world. If you want that beautiful girl, so does everyone else. You have to win the competition. You want that car, you have to get it first. You want that money, everyone wants that money. You have to compete. It's competitive, business is competitive. You are competing against people like me. You're competing against people like the people in my network. You're competing about people who only talk about money, who understand money very well, who operate in jurisdictions all around the planet, who are extremely well connected, who know things before you know them, who have mass influence and mass power and mass resource. You're competing against me. This is what you must understand. You're not waking up going, I want to make some money. You're competing against people like me. You're competing against billionaires. You're competing against hedge funds. How do these hedge funds keep growing? Where are they getting that money from? From the brokies. They're robbing you. They're robbing all the poor people from the pension fund. That's where they get it from. This is who you're competing against. So the competition is absolutely and utterly fierce. Understanding that, understanding that you're a man with a small pistol up against a mighty army. So when I say people are lazy, they go, I'm not lazy, I work hard every day. You work eight hours a day? <laughs> you work eight, eight? If I'm awake, I'm working. I'll be driving my Bugatti Chiron through Dubai, working. I don't take a second off, I don't take a minute off, I don't relax, I don't rest, I don't stop, I don't chill, none, ever. I'm either asleep or at work, that's it. 